Hi ladies, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. We are gonna go ahead and tap into this dope download that I have received, okay? Getting the sage lit just a little bit. And the download that I received for you all is this person admires you and wants to give you a gift. So somebody admires you uh, it could be who you are, your personality. It could be some work that you do, okay? Or something of that nature. It could be that somebody is also watching you, okay? Or, um, you know, like every detail of something that you do. It could be, you know, like social media. This could be uh, somebody at work. This could be somebody that you work with, um, like as an entrepreneur, you know? Or, you know, kind of like also a sales buddy or, you know, you're in real estate, somebody else, you know, they could be in construction, you know, something of that nature. Someone you've come across, they really admire who you are. They admire your work. They admire something about you that is attracting them to you and have has them looking at you or maybe asking around about you. Maybe some of you guys are in the same social group or something, but there's someone around you. OK, I heard contact. So you guys have made contact with this person already. So even if you don't know who this person is, you know, um, this is definitely somebody brand new, but this is somebody like new that maybe you've been around or something like that. Right. Um, and maybe you guys have had conversation or for some of you guys, maybe there hasn't been any conversation Um but they've seen you or, you know, noticed you or something of that nature. OK, so we're going to go ahead and tap in. All right. And see what energy comes out for this person who admires you and wants to give you a gift as well. Um, this could be somebody that just feels like you deserve the world or you deserve, you know, to, you know, kind of relax, put your feet up type of energy. Okay. Somebody that wants to take care of you. Somebody may admire your work ethic. I mean, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. I'm telling you. Okay. This is for everybody that is single. You're not about to be single no more. You, I mean, change, relationship, courtship is here, okay? Yeah, because you're this mature woman. Somebody sees you as very, very mature here. Somebody wants to change your life. Again, somebody may want to change your address. I just did a read um, that says where you sleep, uh, the address where you're sleeping is changing. Okay, yeah, this could be somebody that you work with or somebody that you've worked with or somebody that sees you working, somebody that sees you grinding, okay? And they really, you know, see that you... um that you are very respectable okay a lot of people again look up to you a lot of people admire you and including this other person so this other person this person may see that other people admire you as well so let's say this person notices your social media they got your social media somehow right you know um and they may see that other people are commenting, like how they comment on, you know, like your Facebook pictures or, you know, it could be your uh, so, uh, Instagram or whatever social media y'all got. Y'all get what I'm saying. OK, I don't be on social media like that. So I'm like, uh, what, what platforms are there nowadays? Shit. OK, everything be changing like that. You know, I barely be saying X because shit, bitch, that's Twitter. <laughs> Anyways, look, we got this mature man. Come on now. That's wild. And I saw 355 when it turned over if you want to go back and watch. So we got four, five, and six here. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. That's what I'm getting. Um, like, so you could be a dancer here. This applies to. I'm also getting everybody dance now. Uh. Uh, uh, CC uh, Music Factory is what I'm picking up on. I'm also picking up on, y'all know, Aunt Viv on Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, okay? Old school, dark skin Aunt Viv, right? Y'all remember when she was in that class and she did that dance? She was showing them two white girls out. <laughs> y'all remember that? And then when she got done, she was tired though, but she was saying, hey, I still got it. You feel me? And as, as a black woman, I can do anything, you know? I'm here for all people, but that's just what the scene was. You feel me? And in the in Fresh Prince of Ballet and shit, that's a classic, especially for us black people, for us black women, our black community, you know? Everybody, you know, if y'all know that scene, y'all know what I'm talking about, ladies. 
let's see what else is here but somebody sees you as a mature woman here yeah okay it's like you got it or you still got it put it how it applies okay you could be young but you still got it with something that you used to do but you don't do no more you get what i'm saying it's like you still got it you can still do that thing so you can still do that thing that you used to do when you were young Okay, I'm here and ride a bike. So some of y'all may be learning to ride a bike for the first time or something. Or maybe y'all go bicycling, you know, downtown. Y'all know those rental bikes. Maybe some, some of y'all do that as well. Okay, but you can still do that thing that you used to do. Maybe dance, okay, or sing, or rap, or write, or sew clothes, or do hair. Whatever y'all do, you know. Okay, I'm hearing baskets. Maybe some of you guys make some type of baskets, gift baskets, or, you know, um, some type of collection of something and sells it. You know, it's giving me, you know, on the, uh, the holidays, like Valentine's Day, how y'all had the, the people out on the side of the road. They be selling like the flowers, the bears, or even like, you know, whole baskets, you know, gift baskets and gift sets and stuff. You know, that's what I'm picking up. Yeah, y'all been working. Y'all see this occupation here? Toil and labor. Y'all been working. Y'all been putting in that work. Yeah, look, we got main mail. I'm telling y'all, this main mail sees you working. Is what I'm picking up on. Okay. Maybe your work situation isn't isn't the best situation, but you're doing what you gotta do and you're making it work for right now or something like that. Okay. Or something ain't working out with your with your work or something like that, you know, or you're working. I also I'm also hearing you're working harder, not smarter. So there's an easier way to get something done. So it's almost like there's another way, another route. Uh, the spirit is rerouting you. I heard her reroute or reroute, and then I heard there's another. Uh, and then I said there's another route, but I wanted to say there's another way. So definitely something about another route. I'm also getting Route 66. I'm also getting Root Beer or Root Beer Floats. It's giving me first date type of energy, that romantic old school type of picnics and uh, walks in the park. And, you know, very, very romantic. This person is very, very romantic. I heard smitten. This person is smitten over you. Um, you guys could be 46 or 61 or 34, 38, 31 as well. Or your person could be these ages, 46, 61. 34, okay, 38. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's get one more. But yeah, this person uh is all this person is something about this person and work as well. Okay, but we go we go see what it's all about. Oh, what it's all about. Yeah, look, somebody sees you and know that they want to be in a connection with you, is what I'm picking up on. Somebody may have some concerns because they don't really know you. They don't know if you're really, you know, if they, if you, if the, if you um, think that they're your type, you know, if, if you'll really like them. So somebody is concerned if you're really going to like them, okay, because they see your energy. They see who you are. But this person is going for it. Again, you guys could be already talking to this person, somebody that you just met or, you know, been talking to maybe for like the past I'll say within the past 30 days or so, you know, or this is going to be coming up for you. You you may be, you know, connecting with someone or meeting someone. And this person, they may kind of see you or, you know, kind of talk to you here and there, depending on what the setting is. Right. But you're going to be aware of who this person is. This isn't no. Well, I don't know who this person is unless they're coming in. You get what I'm saying? So this person could definitely be coming in for you. So pay, watch out, pay attention, you know, like it's, it's in your radar and not like watch out, pay attention in a negative way, but like, hey, this is at your front door. Oh, literally they could be at your front door. Kind of like they could live near you. They may live like right around the corner or something like that, you know, surprisingly, you know, or like they're right in your neighborhood or your side of town. Let's say if you live in a place like, I don't know, L.A. or New York or something. It's like they, they're on your side of town. It's like as big as the city is, it's like, wow, OK, yeah, you, you over here. So maybe this person could have also seen you at some type of event. I don't know what this is, you know. But yeah, it's like I'm also hearing you're going to enjoy talking to this person. This person is something about this person and work, though. So maybe this. I don't know. We're going to see what this is. It's not giving me, okay, they're a worker. Okay, yeah, they may work hard and stuff, but it's something else. House. This person could be into real estate. It's funny because I mentioned that earlier. You could be into real estate or anything of the nature as well. Yeah, we have poverty here. So somebody could, you know, really be 
down bad thinking about you type of energy meaning like they're they're constantly thinking about you not down bad because somebody missed out or somebody messed up no this is something that's like very new and flourishing and and fun and flirty and all of that but they're in their head so much about you they just kind of like all, all they can do is like be look like this like a sad little puppy dog because they're just thinking about you all the time you know that's the type of energy that I'm picking up with that. You may work from home with this occupation, a house. Some of you guys may work from home. Yeah, wealthy man here. You guys get your money. You guys get into the bag. Yeah, this is, told y'all this man works. This man is very well off. However, he has his money. He's very well off. You know, this I heard get to know you. This person really wants to get to know you. They want to know your name. For some of you guys, this person is seeing you from afar, maybe like through a friend or something of that nature, or maybe at work and they have they haven't introduced themselves to you or something of that nature. Look at what fell on the floor. Great fortune. This person is taking care of you. Your house is very blessed. Spirit is pouring out blessings over your household. Spirit is blowing spirits. If something could be blowing, it's giving me, um, it's giving me, uh, what is it called? Um, you know, like when they doing the yard work and so forth, like the blower, you know how they blow it. And then like the, the, the blower machine and then all the leaves be going everywhere. You know, that's what it's reminding me of here. You see this? It's like spirit is blowing out blessings over your house, over your entire household estate. Look, this is an estate. All your hard work has paid off. You can't make this up. Yeah, you about to get some time. Somebody sees your work and they admire you. You about to get this message like, oh, you want me? Like you, you want me? Somebody high profile could also be paying for your services is what I'm hearing, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, this official person or either you're this official person or it applies both ways. You're an official person. That's why you're attracting this official person, these official people. That's why you're attracting all of these people in your life. It's more than just, like I said, this, this person that's interested in you, they see even on your social medias or, you know, let's say if you guys work together, this person sees around other how other people interact with you, you know, or let's say if this is somebody that's known like from a family of a friend, you get what I'm saying? They, they you, you know, um, let, let's say this is a, a friend of the family. That's what I was saying. They may, you know, already see and know how you, you are with other people. This is a lot of people, official people as well, that, that uh, really admire you. And pe a lot of people want to, you know, almost give you things or people want to work with you or people want to connect with you and be around your energy and your aura, but especially this person. So it's not just this lover, you know, it's, it's also multiple people. You also may have multiple suitors, but one person is going to, you know, get you or keep you or, you know, make sure that they, they on their ish because this person wants you. This person may also know that you have a lot of people, you know, that may want to talk to you, connect with you or that you may already date you know yep some of y'all date multiple people here and this person wants to be like uh-uh we making this official like let me go ahead and scoop you up is that something that you're interested in some of you guys are having fun dating so it just depends on who you are and where you are okay but yeah y'all see this energy but your hard work is paying off. And that's why I said you're getting this money from this letter. So you're going to receive some type of letter or some type of message about somebody that wants to work with you. Somebody that, you know, 777. People think that you're lucky or you have this lucky vibe. And people just, you're magnetizing people, things, places, situations, opportunities, you know, to come towards you. You know, it's like the universe sees you and the universe is raining down blessings over your household. And when I say household... Yes, your literal house, but I'm talking about you and your family as a as an individual. It's not just about the money. It's about spirit giving you personal acknowledgement that you can have and receive and do whatever it is that you speak because you are the G-O-D of your life, the generator, operator, and destroyer. So what are you, whatever you generate, whatever you ask for, you have to trust and believe that it appears in the perfect timing. It's never a no, it's just always in perfect timing. Just because you haven't seen it happen doesn't mean it's not happening or that it hasn't happened in the physical in the spiritual realm. It has to happen in the spiritual realm before it can, you know, be here in the physical. 
But people see you and want to work with you and they want to connect with you. So you may be receiving messages. Okay. Yeah, this is very good. Oh, this is juicy, juicy fruit. But, but what is it? Matutiny? Is that how you say it? I can't. I, well, I don't want to say what I can't do because I can do anything. Where is? I was about to say this deck. All right. We're just going to get some additional messages. But yeah, some of you guys may be moving. I'm here and pack up and move for this connection, this relationship. Is what I'm picking up on, is what I'm getting. This is, it's like, yeah, this is definitely a match here, you know? And it's like, this is blue, but he has on blue here. So this is a match with this person here as well. You see that? And then she still has the purple. So you guys may match and wear the same type of clothing as well. You know, he may be with you, all your shenanigans. You may be the type of person that's like, like very upbeat and vibrant and like to have fun and, you know, go to, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, like fun places, like you may go to like a jumping park, you know, like where like uh, you go to the inflatables, you know, where the kids go, or birthday parties and all that. You may do stuff like that, you know, like hey, we're about to go or rock climbing, or you know, you may just be very fun and active, you know, type of energy. And he's with all of that. You you feel me? It's like hey, let's 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 get up and travel. You know, we're going to Mexico next week, and then after that, you know, we're going to you know next month we're going to Paris, or the next month we you know going to the islands or whatever. Y'all saw it said water as well. You or this person could be a water sign here as well here. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you something is guaranteed. This love connection is guaranteed here. Champion, you are the head, never the tail. I'm trying to tell you. This person sees that you're a champion because you're the champion. You got to be the champion before you're the champion. Mike Tyson, you already know this on this channel for, for my OGs, for my ones that's been down for me uh, and with me for a long time. I ain't said it in a minute, but I'm always saying that all over here. You got to be the champion before you're the champion, meaning you got to think it in your mindset before it can actually happen. It has to take place in the spiritual before it can take place in the physical. So are you doing the actual inner work? Or are you so busy looking at the outside and what everybody outside of you is doing and blaming the outside world for everything that goes on? You got to turn that energy on the inside and face yourself. And that's what you've done. And that's what you're, you're, you're finishing up doing. And in order to get this great fortune and all of this money and everything else that people want, you got to have the right mindset. Like energy don't lie. You can't get something if your energy ain't right for it. So you got to do the work. And like I said, it's still bigger than this. It's like saying like, you know, making sure that whatever you speak, you can actually receive. That's what it's all about. Because, okay, you got all the money. So let's just say you got all the money that you asked for. Okay, then what? Can you, do you always get the first place when you go parking? You know, do people treat you, you know, like you got that magic? What's your energy like? Can you speak something that appears just like that, no matter how big or small? You get what I'm saying? That's what it's about. You may have the money, but can you really get that opportunity? Can you still get approved? Do, how is your inside still? You get what I'm saying? Do you, do you, are you a winner? Do you, do you win like contests and, you know, you put your name in a hat and boom, because you've got that magnetic type of attractive energy or are you just about the money and that's it? Cause you can get all the money, but can you manifest the person? Can you keep a relationship? You got the money, but are you lying to yourself about your heart space for real? Because in actuality, dualities are meant to connect. You got to have that both, both aspects. First within yourself, but we are not meant to be alone, whoever you choose to be with. Yoni's thing, you guys could just be in your divine feminine shit. You know, this is what it's giving me. Nails done, hair done, everything did. You got your patties did, all of that type of stuff. Getting your Yoni's thing, getting your spa day, you know, um, massages and shopping and smell goods and makeup and you know body sprays glitter all of that you know lingerie something legal here okay 
goddess of we got Ayo, goddess of air, a whirlwind, knowledge of witchcraft, magic, botany, be you, it's freeing. Okay, so it's kind of like if you're this person, you know, that really grasps magic or the magic of the universe or botany, you know, that's like, um, you know, the plants and the, um, trees and planting and all of that, you know, um, flowers and all of that, like botanicals. You get what I'm saying? It's like if you're like a herbalist or medicine woman or a shaman or anything of that nature, you know, Reiki healer, healer, any of that. Right. It's spiritual teachers. Spirit is saying, be you. If you know spells and all this other different type of stuff, be you. Don't be, a, you ain't got to go around like, hey, I'm this. Hey, I do this. But it's also okay to be who you are on from the inside out is what spirit is saying. And then again, we have something legal here. Okay. Oh, you can't. Baby, you can't make this up. Herbal, healing, medicine. Look, Spirit said, book y'all readings down below. <laughs> Your girl on point. But it's for who it's for. You feel me? Herbal, healing, medicine. Again, you could be a medicine woman. I'm also hearing like you could be an actual doctor, a physician. I'm seeing somebody working in a hospital is what I see. So you could work in a hospital, okay? Some of you guys could be working as a CNA, you know, or something of that nature. Maybe you used to or you did something like that. But I'm, this is really picking up to me medicine. Some of you guys may work at a hospital, but you guys are also Reiki uh, healers and things of that nature. Or you guys uh, may, uh, you know, tell patients like, hey, I know the doctor gave you this, but boom, try this, this and this herb, mix that together and that'll help you as well. You get what I'm saying? You got spirit may have you as a medical profession to give this, this, you know, this type of uh, spiritual knowledge out to people. Okay. But something is happening very, very quickly. Air, that's messages, birds, all of that. You know, something flying quickly is giving me the eight of wands energy here. Like a whirlwind. Yeah, this is a whirlwind connection. Also, this is, could be what you do for work here. Yeah. Also, you're a champion, so you could be moving because of this. You could be getting a new work contract or something that you're doing, and it's going to cause you to have to move to a new city or state. So this could be a job you applied for, or this could be, you know, somebody hiring you to do, you know, like I said, is this something high profile? Or you may just get enough money as this champion, as this winner, you know, to be able to move to where you want to go as well. Something is changing. Or again, this, this relationship may, you know, that's what this is. I, so I feel like you have a relationship in your, a change in your relationship. But let's say if you are in a connection and you've already been with this person, right? This is this person wanting, to, wanting you to move in with them. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up on. Like I said in the last reading, so that energy is here. Let's get one more. What else is here? But something legal has happened. This person may want to make this legal. They see you as a rock star here. That's too many. I ain't taking all that. Or it is the motion. Let's get one more spirit. Yeah, you're the psychic seer. Okay. Doula, like I said, medicine woman, all of that. You're a doula. Okay. Or you could be an OBGYN, meditate. Spirit is saying you've meditated or you need to meditate in regards to bringing in and calling in and magnetizing, you know, this house here, this this great fortune. And again, it's not just about the money. It includes money, but it's about the people you're meeting, the opportunities and so forth. Very high vibration of people and energy that is here. So if you tapped into this, then congratulations to you, because, baby, this is like top tier A1. OK, type of energy that's here. It's not just about a celebrity or high profile for some of you guys. If you guys are going to be connecting with uh, those type of people or you, your inner, you yourself being in that type of energy. And that may be the case for you, you know, but it's really, you know, about your your energy being pure because you got so many celebrities out here, high profile people that their 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 heart, is, their heart space is to the shits. They're, 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 they, they got money, okay, and they know people, okay, and 
So it's, 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 yeah, money gets you the things that you desire, but not all people are, you know, just because people have the money doesn't mean that they did the inner work, so to speak. Anybody can get money, but you do have to have the right mindset to hold the money. That's why they have the money that they have because they got the right mindset, whether they was born into it. You get what I'm saying? So they never had any qualms with money or either they were taught along the way through hard work and dedication or just life or whatever the case may be. And they came into some money and they got that money mindset. But anybody can get money. But when you coming from a low vibrational situation without money to get to the money, it's going to require a lot of inner work and shadow work to really get to that level. Do y'all y'all grasp what I just said? So many of you guys have been doing that. You guys have been meditating. You guys are very spiritual here. You guys do. A, you guys may ground yourself outside. You guys may hug trees. You guys may talk to plants, talk to the sun, talk to the stars, talk to the universe. You know. All inclusive is what I'm hearing. Uh, 2555 is on the phone as well. It may be time, it may be a little off because of my intro, but it's all good. And shout out to everybody that keep telling me they love my intros. I appreciate y'all, you know. And uh, most of the stuff I wrote, that's been a long time ago. It's just been situations I ain't really been able to put it out, you know, but it is what it is, but it's here now, okay. Yeah, a lot of you guys could be working on a lot of things, got some things going on behind the scenes, connecting with people and, you know, just doing your thug fizzle. You feel me? And people see that, especially this person. And they really like you and they admire you and they want to give you some type of gift or they want to work with you. Or, you know, I, I'm here and elevate or raise your status. So this person wants to elevate you. This person wants to raise your status. Is what I'm picking up on here. Y'all, this back window, I got my back window open and the, the AC machine is like right there. So if y'all can hear that. <laughs> but I love having my window open. I have to have my windows open. Like all throughout the house, like I love having my windows open. Some of you guys could be that same way as well. You know, just like love, loving the fresh air that, that flows through. You know, got the instant lit, all of that type of stuff, you know. So let's see. I'm trying to see. It's 27, 21. I think I'm going to close it out here. But I do want to get. Uh, I don't know what to close it out with. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Give me a second. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Thank y'all. Y'all so patient. Y'all so patient. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Y'all know what song I'm here? Girl, I really want to stay so we can play that little game we play where you go high and I will see. Let me be the one to make you weak. Ah! That's what I'm hearing. So somebody really want to stay with you. Somebody don't like to see you leave. They like, dang, like, why you got to leave me? Like it may, like I said, like earlier with that poverty, that little, like in the way they be thinking about you, it's like, man, they be like a little sad little puppy dog. Like when well, I'm going to see you again, that's how come that you can't be around nobody else. Cause this person wants to be around you all the time. Some of you guys may feel like you want to break because you always around this person. You just feel like, hold up, things could be taking place too quickly. For some of you guys, you know, it doesn't mean it's just a lot going on at once, you know, so you may be like, hey, let me just slow things down a little bit. But this person, if you do that, this person is still on you. You know, they 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 y'all get a little space, you know, breathing room because you may work. You may have a lot of different things to take care of. You know, um, even if this person say hey, you ain't got to work, you may be like, nah, I'm working because I got to have my own. You get what I'm saying? This person may give you money as well to show you that they're serious, but you just still, you know, like to work. You just may be somebody that likes to work or, yeah, this person knows and sees that you like to work. They see that you're building this empire, this strong foundation with or without them. That's what this person likes about you. They see what you're doing. Yeah. 
So I was deciding which one to use here, you know. All right. If y'all chose this one, I was supposed to say which one y'all think I was going to choose, but whatever. Let's just get a final message to close this reading out. What's the final message to close this reading out? Okay, Ashe. Wise counsel. Seek guidance from trusted friends or mentors to help you along. And then we also have getting advice. Seek guidance with an open heart, ready to learn and grow from the wisdom offered by others. Ooh, y'all know what I'm getting? Spirit is saying, pray about this connection. Or if you're in multiple, you know, talking to multiple people or whatever connections you're in, pray about it. Pray that spirit releases those people that are not for you, that you know that you see a, a sign of who is for you, you know, to make it clear, maybe by name, maybe by dream. Also something about shine, okay? Um, because I said shine, you know? Um, and then also something about a light bulb. You can be having this light bulb moment, like, aha, like an idea. Idea, you know, or this person could be having an idea. Also, you're very smart. Spirit sees that you guys are very smart. All right. Also, you could be this wise counsel. You could be making a wise decision by connecting with this person. This person or other people think it's a very wise decision to be around you. All right. Also, people may connect to you for wise counsel. You can be that friend of the group that everybody just comes to for advice or family members come to advice, friends come to for advice, you know, co-workers come to for advice or whatever. You get what I'm saying? All right. But it's also like you may be the type of person that's like, dang, I give everybody else advice. You know, it would, it would be cool to have somebody give me that advice. You may also... Um, have uh, like a, a coach or something, shout out, I'm a life coach, facts, okay, a certified life coach, I actually went to school for it, in-person school, you feel me, all right, I also have my, my master's in psych, all right, yeah, I ain't gonna get all, yeah, choose wisely, I don't want to get into all of this, carry it away, yeah, I ain't about to get into all of that uh, other energy, and then divine flow. Yeah, Spirit is saying go with divine flow. Spirit is saying take your own advice here as well. It says let go of attachment to the outcome and let the universe bring gifts. You can't make this shit up. I started with that and with this gifts. Spirit is bringing you gifts because you are in the divine flow. Period. Ladies, open to receive. Invite abundance with the open with open arms. Embrace the blessings waiting to flow into your life. I'm telling you, this person is a blessing and there's many gifts, opportunities with all these blessings the spirit is blowing over your life. Man, I'm going to spit some gems in this reading. You could be connected with somebody named Jim, okay? Or maybe you guys go to the gym as well, okay? Or Jimmy, okay? But yeah, Open your arms. Open up to receive. I mean, it's a whole lot. You can't you can't have your hands closed. You can't have your heart closed. 33 was on the phone. How you going to receive all this if your heart closed? If your space closed, if you don't have the room, if you ain't meditated, if you ain't cleared all of this out, if you ain't moving wisely, something about the way you move too, how you make the decisions you make. You could be moving on the low, something like that as well. I like the way you move. Dun, dun, dun. Sleepy Brown. You know, but yeah, okay, but yeah, th these are y'all messages. I say seeking clarity in this wise counsel. Yeah, I really, yeah, you, you, you guys are very clear about this connection. You guys are clear about who you are, what you're doing for work, just everything here. And don't forget this right here. You know, a lot of work y'all been putting in. Open up to receive all these blessings. This spirit is blowing over your life. Still tap into your work. This beautiful relationship connection is here. So what y'all doing? What y'all doing, ladies? Y'all here looking good? Catching all of these, these fellas out here, okay? They locking, they locking the ladies down. These mature men is locking the ladies down. Facts, okay? Anyways, yeah, again, this person or people see you as this champion because you are the head, never the tail. And don't you forget it. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much, Ashe.
I really appreciate everyone that continues to rock with me. You all can book your personal readings down below in the description bar. You all can give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome. And I will see you all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.